What are you doing with my documents? Ah, but it was on the table, opened. When you are done snooping around them, you drop it. I wasn't snooping. Then they jumped into your hands. So, what are you doing with list papers? Listing something, maybe. TVs. Home theater. Refrigerators. But you have all these things already. Yes, old model. Oh, oh, oh. Sumba, don't tell me you're getting all these things for the same reason. Then don't ask. Oh, oh come on, Sumba. You have to stop all this nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have to make sense to you, Kule. It won't make sense to anyone. Too bad. This is my house and my money. And I can do whatever I want with it. All right, all right. Simbo, you have to slow down. Yes, I know. It's your money, but you still need to slow down. That man is not worth the stress. I thought you said Shadi was just minutes away. Mm -hmm. Yes, Dad. That's what she told me. <coughs> Hello, Shadi Rays. How you doing? We were Welcome. worried you were not taking your calls. <laughs> oh, Daddy, there was absolutely no need for you to be worried. Because... I was having dinner <clears throat> with my fiance. <laughs> oh my God! He proposed. Of course he did. Hello. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are they real diamonds? Of course they're real diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure Shadi told you about her engagement. Yes, she did. Of course, in the old days, the boy would first come to see the girl's father for permission to propose. <laughs> Just pulling your legs. <laughs> Okay, so I told my dad everything and he asked me to get a day from you to arrange a formal introduction. He also wants to know what venues you have in mind as regards the wedding and reception. I'll get back to you on a date for the introduction. But as regards the venues, the wedding would be at our family church while the reception would be at either Landmark or Museum Centre. Wow, that's, that's great because those are one of the venues he also has in mind. Good to know we have similar tastes. <laughs> wow. No, 15% is on the high side. They should take 10. No. That comes to 750,000 interest per month. Please do. Talk to him. Let him calm down a bit. Okay, thanks. Can't you knock before you come into people's houses? 
what? Simba, are you taking a loan? None of your business. Oh, it is Simba. You are my best friend and I'm, I'm, I'm scared for you. Because you're going down a very bad road. Let me deal with that. Sumbo, you, you already stretched thin with this car you're buying. Now, a loan? No, tell me, if you take a loan, how do you pay back? When I get to the bridge, I'll cross it. What concerns me now is how to give my first daughter a befitting wedding. Something her mother will be very proud of. Please, um, Sumbo, don't bring Chen Wei into this. It's your ego that is making you do all these things. Listen, Kone. I'm going to regret saying this. Mind your own business. And you know what, Simba? I am going to do exactly that from now on. If you want to run yourself down because of one stupid man, then you can go ahead. Nose Paka. I was so surprised when they told me it was you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, I'm so sorry. I actually wanted to see you for something very urgently. Okay. What's happening? Mm. It's Simba. Dad? What's wrong with him? Is, no, is he okay? No, it's alright. It's alright, at least physically. I'm so sure of that, but mentally? I'm not so sure. What do you mean? Shade, you need to speak with your dad. You have to talk to him now before he mortgages your entire future away. Our future? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ah, Shadi, you're home early. Yes, Dad. I need to speak with you. I'm here for you anytime. Dad. It's about the wedding. Yes. I can think of nothing else to myself. Don't worry, it will be fantastic. Dad, that's what I want to talk to you about. Look, it doesn't have to be fantastic or expensive. What do you mean? I mean, you're overstretching yourself. Just because of an event that'll be over in hours, even before you know it. It's Kule, isn't it? He called you. Look, Dad, that's not the issue. The issue is that you're planning a wedding that is too expensive for us. Says who? Says me, Dad. Look, I don't care the size of the hall. I don't even care the number of guests. As long as you're there to give me away, Dad, I'll be happy. That's all I want. I care. It's not your call, it's mine. And I'll give you a befitting wedding. If you like it or not. So what do you think we should do about it? I need you to talk to your parents. My parents? I don't think they're the issue here. Well, maybe and maybe not. But it was your father's condescence during the visit that put my father on this trip. Um, Shadi, I don't think my father was being condescending. He, he was just being himself. Well, he could have made an effort to be less himself at someone else's house, an expense. You know what? Let's just forget about it. Let's change the topic because we might end up quarreling. 
All right, I'll, I'll try and talk to my parents, even though I do not know exactly what I'm supposed to say. See, you can just tell them to tell my father that they would prefer a less elaborate wedding. You know, a smaller venue, fewer guests. I'll try. You will? Thanks, darling. It's funny, right? Yes, it is. Oh, good evening, sir. Of course we are still interested. The one for a thousand people. No, not 500 naira per head. The one for a thousand naira per person. What can a father do? Okay, thanks. Throwing everything into this wedding, aren't you, Dad? What can I do? If only to be appreciated. Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, how did it go? Uh, not good, Shadi. How do you mean? My dad doesn't want a small wedding. He says I'm his only son and he had always dreamt of an elaborate wedding for me. I'm sorry, Shadi. And you told him what that was doing to my father financially? Oh, yes. Yes, and that's the most interesting part, darling. He's, he's saying he was going to pay for everything and it would take off every financial strain of your dad. What? How dare he make such an offer? I am disappointed that you could even think to repeat it to me. How is that supposed to make my father feel, huh? I won't do it. Excuse me, I, I, I don't understand what you mean. I'm calling off the wedding. You what? Mm-hmm. Shadi, you're calling out the wedding just because your father has an insane urge to prove a point to my dad? <laughs> oh, so that is how you see it. Eh? My father suddenly has insane thoughts running through his head. <laughs> and you still want to marry his daughter? Look, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that way, okay? No. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Oh, come on, Shadi. Baby, I... Your ring. Every guest will leave with a copy of the wedding video. Wow! <laughs> but, Dad, would they have to edit it after shooting? Yes, they are coming with their machines. The editing, copying will be done there immediately. Wow! <laughs> Max, sweet Dad! This will be the wedding of the year! Yeah. Dabeski! <laughs> 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 
Shaggy. What's the meaning of that? You walk past us, you couldn't say a single greeting. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. Good evening, sir. Hope you had a nice day. Because I did not. I did not, Dad. Because I called off the wedding. What you? And I broke up with my fiance. And you want to know why, Dad? You. Because of you, Dad. It was supposed to be my wedding. My wedding. But you, you managed to turn it into an ego competition with Charles's father. Are you happy now, Dad? Are you? My dear, loving father. Mr. Sumbo Olufemi Shadari. Being a father is difficult. Being a father and the mother at the same time is more difficult. Most times, what we think is best for our children is actually what we want for ourselves. Lesson learned. Fatherhood class 101 complete. My name is Sumbo Ulufemi Shadari, a proud father. Babenski. <laughs>